Oh, Carolyn Herford with the Biz Truth. On the days you find yourself avoiding certain activities, even though you know it would be healthy for the growth of your business, I want you to remember this story. My friend and client, Janice Bennett, got in an accident last year that has sidelined her from doing the one thing that she loves the most. She has gone through countless physical therapy and doctor and chiropractor appointments. She has popped meds and taken warm baths. She's even She even hangs upside down on this inversion table to stretch out her back. And although I'm sure there are many days she'd rather not do those things, her overriding why trumps it, and she does it mostly with a smile. The why for Janice is to ride horses again. And I can bet you that she'll seek out every possible treatment until she's able to feel the joy and freedom that her favorite activity brings her. So when you look at your business, what is your why? And what actions are you willing to take so that you get to ride your metaphorical horse? I want you to start by looking at the actions that you're avoiding. It might be making sales calls or investing in a new program that you need or tracking your numbers more closely. Then put those activities that you're avoiding into perspective by shining them under the light of why you're doing your business. And if your why isn't strong enough to suck it up and do those things, then it's time for you to go back to the drawing board. You can also flip this exercise when you're talking to a prospect who's resistant to taking action that will help them in their business or whatever it is they do. So giddy up and go entrepreneur, giddy up and go.